join us. Planet X, Von Creed once again on top, yeah, find themselves sure, on top of the cell here. Live at Claim the Thing from the Air Canada Senate. Air Canada Center here in Toronto, Canada, the 12th annual claim to fame. Put themselves a hell in a cell matchup and look at oh wait a minute! Oh he's not doing this, he's not doing anything, he's doing this! Oh my! That's gonna be this 20 feet Prime X is plunged Von Creek from the top of cell to the cover floor, all into the Spanish freaking announce table. I'll be surprised if this is not, I mean, if, if he kicks out of this one. And just like that, Brian X is victorious. A huge win beating Von Creek in the Hell of Souls here tonight. Sure, we've had some intense moments here tonight in this hellacious Hell of a Cell brawl. As you see, Brian X goes for a couple of barrage on top of the cell. Oh, it hits up that huge kick. One way when it comes to these two. Oh my, this is not good. This is not a good sight. Did you see how Von Creed landed here? Oh my god, his neck right through the edge of that Spanish announce table. I hope Von Creed's okay. I mean, you know these guys are going to hell and back in this one. Matches are always so brutal. Plans to that just here live tonight at Cling of Fame. There you have it. There's your winner, folks. Here's your winner. Planet X. Planet X. Planet X. Beat Von Creed. Man, Planet X waited a year to get this type of retribution on the floor. On the, on the one-man nation here tonight. We come all over the universe to come back with us to finally get a revenge on Von Creed. Tonight, ask yourself, is Von Creed finally done for by Planet X? What's next in store for Planet X? I mean, we all know Slow to spend right around the corner. And we all know for sure that Planet X is one thing else he wants to acquire. is a win back that he could be chicken if he won back at 10 and 10. Kind of skinny tall all over the entire Urban Wrestling Association and its inhabitants here tonight. But up next, this is going to be made once again in a huge dream match. A lot of fans have been asking for it. It's finally here as Pichano Blake challenges Sissy Hardy for the Women's Championship of the World. For Sissy Hardy, the current and competing 12 time UW Women's Champion. Throughout this entire year, after Chris played with Victorious in that Urban Rules match back at Pandemonium 11 earlier this year, Chris played an absolutely dominating. He defeated like some Renegade Ziva, Aquara, Aaron Emony, so many others to get this opportunity here to try to face Stacey Hardy. And earlier this year, Stacey Hardy single handedly took out all the three main events from Pandemonium earlier this year for the women's title. Let's show the tail of the tape. Of course, Chris Prana Blade, we all know her famous figure of the Shooting Star Spirit, the Kamani Embrace. Like I said, she's been undefeated ever since Pandemonium 11. She needs to defeat Renegade TV to get the more contendership here tonight. They look at Stacey Hardy. How are you going to come back the body or queen in the Queen's Cutter? I mean, we need to put her against Kukana Blade. You're asking for a freaking dream match. I mean, Kukana Blade Hardy is the 12 time women's champion. Can't get better than that. We're gonna go back to the plan next because he's asking for an interview time right after following his matchup with. Oh, wait a minute! Oh my goodness! Look at that card is running down Planet X! Oh my god! No! What six sadistic son of a bitch was responsible for that one? We couldn't get a shot of who's on the driver's seat that 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 car. Oh my gosh! We we'll so need we need to get. Oh, we need to get a replay after that one, folks. And we need to get some... I mean, for that one, put us some help back there! Man, this is a scene we see all too often here in the UWA. I just pray to God that Planet is okay after that. He just got ran over by a car. Well, hopefully he gets in the middle of the tension. But we aren't going to show a replay of this. Why are we showing a replay of this? The guy just got ran over. I don't want to see it. Oh! Oh, my... Oh, my... Oh, Planet X, he just doesn't look like he's okay. Come on, cameraman, stop actually filming this damn thing and actually get some help back there. He has made Planet still laid out before him unconscious. We've got to move on to our, our double X event here tonight. He goes for the 12 time winners champion, Stacey Harley. The following title match 
contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the women's championship of the world. On her way to the world, she is the current UWA women's champion from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She is the self-proclaimed queen of the world, the queen bee, Stacey Perry. She's already ready to battle against this woman right here. Trying to blade that we found earlier this year at Beach Party Slim with the assist of Ken Kultos. Ken Kultos sacrificing her well being for the sake of the Blade. Always, not only is she able to sustain her Kimonic Dragon, but also know her memory as well at the same time. Coming down the aisle, she is the challenger. Emanating from Empton Kemlon, she is the Kemlonian Dragon. Crimshana Blade! You can recall earlier this year, Crimshana Blade was once a humble young woman from N10 Kemwan. He was a proud wrestler. We found out that she had a deep past. He's a descendant of an ancient race of Kemwanian warriors that could transform into dragons. Because of that, only when Crimshana Blade, if she was ever physically and emotionally compromised, she would transform into Kemwanian dragon. But into that situation, she has no memory of her human persona whatsoever. But earlier she was able to work around those weaknesses here. Of course, that's what it's all about, folks. The UA Women's Championship on display here tonight. And Lisa, can you think of anyone who's more intimidating than me keep trying to play? She's hard, she's hard to find that once by herself here tonight. Sorry, I'll call it. Or elbow type as you see he's already going break that shin break work on the knees of from a blade there wow, look at this guy the spear flow leg like applied here to try to play off and close to the ropes if she just oh anyway he's already let go talk about a dream match folks between these two again lots of running run down the credentials of both these very prestigious women athletes Despite the fact that Kinshana Blade is only a former women's tag team champion. You see Kinshana Blade, oh look at this! Diving off the apron and hitting that huge bulldog! It's moves like that that makes Kinshana Blade so incredibly over. And this, and in what a such a formidable sight in the ring here in the UWA. I mean, like I said earlier in the introduction, that we've seen Kinshana Blade in the likes of Renegade Diva, Aaron Emini, you know, Vaquera, The Beast, Rabbit. I mean, almost all of the some of the top double ups here in the company. Kutuna Blade has beaten all of them. And you saw what Kutuna Blade what went through earlier at this year at Pandemonium. And we saw it display. And Heathens Road Kemwan, just minutes away from Kutuna Blade's hometown, after that display in that elimination urban rules match against Karen Kortos, Anna Tan, and Reggie Diva, many would speculate that after that win, Kutuna Blade is deserving of a women's title run here in UWA, but of course, Cece Hardy, more than anybody else, wants that title. And that's why she's a 12-time women's champion, of course, winning that title. After it was handed to her by Pink Angel the night after Bloodshed. Because that Bloodshed, Cece Hardy fought Mona Loca in a hardcore match, which ended up in a draw. But after the match, Cece Hardy was so pissed, she just, just took out Mona Loca and her family, which was at ringside. Putting Monoka on the shelf. Of course, we later found out this a few nights later that Pink Angel handed the women's team to the Cincy Hardy. And we found out that despite the fact that Cincy Hardy single handedly put Ursa Ariano, Coco, and Monoloka, all women who competed in the Pink Morning main event earlier this year, all on the shelf in a span of three months with no security stopping her whatsoever, it was because Pink Angel allowed her to get away with all that shit. Probably one of the most un unforeseen swerves in recent history. The pairing of Pink Angel and Stacey Hardy. And back to the action. You can see Stacey Hardy wearing down Kutuna Blade with these kicks there. And, oh, just getting around the apron. Now he's focusing on that arm that's wrenching on the top rope there. And she just had her goozled on the ropes. Oh, my loaded over that neck breaker and then setting her up for something here. No turns her around. This could be pretty devastating. 
Oh! Half Nelson slam right in the center of the ring. Referee in prime position. This could, be, this could do it. Oh, nick of time, that near fall. Blake's finding himself once again in the corner. Oh! Rammed there. The last, uh, last CBB at Cold Night Bash, we all saw that, that rubber match between Renegade Diva and Kushana Blade, where the winner became the winner contender to face the women's champion, of course, being Stacey Hardy. And oh, oh my! Kushana Blade flying like the dragon that she is with that blockbuster there. And now go up top of that huge elbow, laying down the hammer on the gut of Stacey Hardy. This is going go high and again with that huge tornado DDT. Oh my god, did you see the hang time on that? Did you see the distance from that, that, that springboard off the second row? My god, it's clearly halfway across the ring. You can see Kukunopo pointing up to the heavens right there, trying to get the power from all our, from all our you know, deceased relatives. Of, uh, like I said, of that famous well-known Kimbani warrior race that can transform them into dragons. That's what she gets her puff from that so-called dragon's layer. Once again, this athleticism on display here tonight. Oh! Man, near falls back to back. She's so equally matched in the ring together. Oh, and now it's Quintana Blade in the driver's seat. Oh! Trying to face him with a modified code breaker. Whenever we see Kuna Blade going up to the top rope corner, we go after that peanut code breaker. Usually she goes for one of her finishers and oh hits hits hard off the top of that Insiguri. I don't know what Kuna Blade is doing right now. I mean this I mean she obviously can't win the match. I mean she can win the match by count but she can't win the women's championship by count out. I, know, I guess she's giving Sissy Hardy a time, I mean, time to think to make Sissy Hardy realize what she's up against here tonight, because we all know. Kuchana Blade is known to also play some mind games with her opponent as well. And that's just chasing Tizzy Hardy around. Yeah, I think she realized she couldn't win the match due to the, the, due to count out, so she decided to go after her. And this is Stacey Hardy, the veteran she is, just baited Kuchana Blade, making her regret her mistakes. That's what a true veteran will do. Now look at this, Stacey Hardy going off the top, and oh, that flying show you can off the top rope to the outside. Intense match this is, and we'll see it. We'll see the Hardy having a store dragging on a blade. And the referee's already almost all out of six count right there. I don't know what she's trying to do. I'm trying to get her back in the ring. Oh, there she goes. Like I said earlier this year, I mean, Katrina Blade, in my opinion, wouldn't be where she is right now if she didn't learn how to sustain her Kimonian dragon state. There was a for the aid by Karen Kortos, I guess we learned, you know, by Kimonian folklore by Karen Kortos earlier this year, that son, oh, that hits that spine buster on the Katana Blade, you now falls up by that snap mare there, I mean, after K Karen Kortos sacrificed her life, when Katana Blade was in battle with Rabbit earlier this year at Beach Party Slam, I mean, Kirkwood literally sacrificed her life, and I guess by doing so that lit a fire underneath Kim trying to blade and allow herself not only to sustain her Kimonian dragon state, but also to, to maintain all of her memory as her, in her as her human form. So I guess in this case, you get the best of both worlds from Kim trying to blade. Technical match between the two. You don't see any submission holds from both these women. Maybe they feel like if they can't get the win from the pin, they have to go from the submission hole. We see many Texas Clover leaps from Stacey Hardy, as well as many you know, arm bars. And she's trying to blame herself, and oh! Let's see if she can capitalize off that half Nelson suplex and turns her around and you know, hip toss. And oh my! That standing. Again, that standing shooting star press, and a third time, three times in a row, back to back shooting star presses. Man, it's like Katrina Blake can do this absolute anything, no thanks to this Kimonian dragon. So things that no other woman in this league can even be, can even think of even possibly pulling off, basically. And folks, what a match we have going on. 